What's going on everybody? I'm Jason, this is the Freebird Garage, and today we are on part two of the chain conversion for my Harley Davidson FXR. And so far, if you haven't catched the last video, I got rid of the front primary already. We did the compensator removal, accident, accidental stator removal, and got everything off the bike except for the front gear and the rear tire and the belt. So we have a couple more pieces to get rid of part of this video and then show you guys here. I'm sure it's all together, easier to put together when everything is organized and kind of cleaned up. We want to go through and make sure everything has got all of its dust, any metal particles removed, clean up for the reassembly, so that's good to go. When taking this apart, I don't do this every day, so I need to make sure that I have the right tools. Now, the one tool to get on to this sprocket here, I had to wait and get it. It's a tool that actually you hook onto this bolt here, but you gotta get a special one because it's particularly got to go over the shaft nice and safely so you don't damage the splines. And then as well, I had to get a tool for this bearing here to check for the distance between four. I'm also chasing a leak that is on this bike. And then I think it's coming from the inner primary seal that possibly the bearing has walked itself towards. And that's common for that and let it start to seep. And if that is, then that's a good case. If not, we're going to know hopefully tonight or today by removing the front gear here. I'm gonna remove that, and that should essentially get us there. Now this is the final part. If you're doing this on FXR in particular, uh, once you remove this belt here, it's, it's do or die. You are fully committed at that point, because if you want a new belt, you gotta remove the swing arm at this point, but I'm sure if you've already gotten done at this point, you're kinda already committed as it is. So, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna remove the front gear, see what's going on with it, and then we're gonna remove the rear tire and get it all cleaned up and make sure everything looks spick and span so we can get everything reassembled knowing that everything is nicely sealed and perfectly good to go best well i can get it but all right let's get rolling on the disassembly so we're going to start off with removing the belt and then move our way to getting the rear tire off and then the front sprocket so here we go Perfectly good belt from 1992. Removed. These can get pretty expensive, but I was able to track one down for a pretty good price. And it's a specialty tool, it's hard to get away from. There are people out there that make some crazy ways to do it. I just like to just buy the tool so I know I'm doing it right. But first there's a race that's gonna go over like a washer and that essentially keeps the socket in place so that it holds the socket without banging the, the splines. That's the main goal of it. And this is reverse threads. We'll put it on. Slide that over. All right. All right. That release there. Good to go. To remove the tire before we kind of get into the cleaning of everything there in the front. So, gotta pull the pin out here. The pin has seen better days. And you get a new one. There we go. Stuck little bugger. 516 on this side. Break it loose. Tap it out. They mentioned to all the washers. Slowly hold the tire and work this shaft out. Basically move the tire. Not quite free. I just gotta go up higher. Oops! All right, so making some mistakes along the way. I don't have the tire up high enough, so I gotta lift up the rear, and the way that I had the stand on here, I couldn't find a good spot that I liked that would just lift the rear from without just lifting the rear on with this jack. So it's covering up the, do uh, the dog door below, so I can't just remove that to make it even easier on myself. So I'm gonna go ahead and lift this thing up, that way we can pull the back tire out and get back to work.
tire removed. Gotta get off the rear sprocket and we'll be good to go. So I remove that. Pretty standard five eighths. Oh. Power of torque specs. All right, we need a bigger tool for this. Breaker bar, black pipe. Let's get some leverage. There we go. Beautiful. So part of the upgrade to this chain kit that's coming, uh, this race right here will pull right out. Ah, that just sits in there and you literally just grab by hand and it comes out. Problem is I forgot to uh, remove the trans fluid, so I'm gonna drain it this way. So I'm gonna pull that out and start to uh, get all the trans fluid loose. So as you can see, there you go. This is what we're gonna remove right here. Oh, see, it's already starting to come out. So we're gonna pull that, drain it, and then get the rest of this area all cleaned up. So that's ready to go. Oil's been all drained. Go ahead and clean this up while it's all apart. cleaned up, ready to go. We got the front done, we got the rear done, tire removed, belt removed, front gear removed, everything cleaned up and ready for the install. Now, the biggest part that has been holding up for this week on getting that chain conversion started for the install is a particular seal, which is, I'm gonna show you right now so you can understand. This transmission seal right there behind the back, this one right here, already tracked down. All the suppliers have been back order for weeks, and there's a quad seal behind here, and there's a fifth gear seal, they call it, on here as well. And then I need to make sure this is in the correct distance on the shaft as well. So a couple more things, but mainly this seal being on back order has kept that backlogged in order to get it done. Now, good news, I had one coming, and it's coming this week. So I had it ordered since I got the chain conversion kit in and was able to scoop it up just in time. So we're gonna have that installed next week and the whole kit will start to roll forward and see each piece together. That about wraps up for this one, guys. If you have made it all the way through, I would greatly appreciate it if you could hit the subscribe button, tap that like, press that notification, leave a comment below and tell me what you think. For those that have already subscribed, thank you. And as always, stay free, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace.